This is one thing the Cougars very good on the offensive glass. North Carolina makes it a point of emphasis to rebound the ball. Oh, what a block by Pete Nance. And then diving on the floor is Black. Well, here's the thing. This is, you know, just great man-on-man -man defense right there. Times it. Still almost went in, but Fye has the rebound. Nine different players have scored for Charleston. Scott swatted away by Nance. Second block of the game for him. Janelle Spearman made both, go, both those calls. Nance inside. Paycock. pass. Here's the look. Pass up top to seal. And that's, again, what Nance gives you out front. He's a big, big guy. He can pass. Nance now on the block with Reed. All the way. And one. Again, nice job forcing the defense down. And Reed does a real good job right up to that point. He has stopped Nance. Batten this time to help Selden, who started off hot for Gardner Webb, by the way. Ademide. Working inside on nickel, blocked by Nance. Out of bounds, it'll stay with the Bulldogs. Nance is working behind, behind the whole time, and Batten just never looks up to see who the open man is. That's just a tremendous. That is a great catch by Kareem Reed. Dontre Styles on the floor now for Carolina. This is Davis with Nance. Pete a little fall away, and it's good. Defense is being buoyed by Pete Nance. Tar Heels by one. And Armando Bacow with a new career high with 23 rebounds to go along with 19 points. Loves love. Exclamation point, Nance. So the Tar Heels are kind of trying to put it together on the fly. They're trying to figure this out. And, and this guy here on the post has to play. Yeah, I'm expecting them to try to run their offense some. So much noise of disappointment throughout last season. Then they got praise during the tournament. Thought they'd just come in and roll. Nance rocks the rim. With all of those stops, shot clock is down to four for Carolina. Got to get in the air. Crowd wants it. The shot on target. North Carolina pull out a miracle here at the end. The lob to Nance. Got the shot away. And it goes! Oh. Wait a minute. We got to make sure that it got it off in time. Here it is. Just got it away. How about that? What a set. Going with the size. Not the lob to the rim. And look at this bench. Brad Fredericks, Zip, Lebo, Sean May, Pat Sullivan, the whole crowd up and at him. And you see the shock on the other end of the Buckeyes bench. Well, you got to regather. But that element of size hurt. Sensible, not able. Here's Baycock. Kawana holding post. Throw it back to him. Nance on the drive in the dunk with the left hand for Pete Nance. Baycott on the business end. He's giving Baycott a rest. Gerard curls off the screen and watching he's there to help him. Edwards begging for it and Gerard can't get it to him. Instead, Brown finds it and Nance spots it away. Really good play by Jalen Washington. His terrific skill as a shot blocker. He's had the first one rim out and you expected to see Tyler Nickel into the game and he's in for Carolina and Baycott flushes one. And Syracuse still has a shot blocker out there as Monir Hema, number 55, is in. He is not quite as polished offensively as Edwards has become. He's still a great shot blocker. Caroline in transition. Baycott with a finish. But Syracuse has felt a little wrath of Baycott running the floor here. Armando with the flush, and the Tar Heels have the lead. And he can't tie the game, but an offensive rebound that gets away from Black. But Nance gets it back, and he puts it in, and Carolina has the lead. Hustle play. And they always tell you not to, let's see if he had a chance. He was trying to bat it to Hema. Instead, he basically served up an assist to Pete Nance. Nance was six to shoot. Jalen Washington hanging out. Now Nance is in trouble against Diaz Graham. Fall away. Sure. All, right. All the traffic you want. 
So it's foul Santos. is on Santos. This is just a situation where the shot clock's running down and Nance has to turn around and fire it. And they have, and Baycott, he's got to recognize when that's coming and find an open teammate. See inside, there's <laughs> a Mondo scoring. But look where Baycott catches this ball, Wes. He's right on top of the basket, and it's almost impossible to stop him. Nance behind the back, trying to back down Mitchell. Turn around, fade away is good, and Carolina ties it. First points of the night. And Carolina is a team with five turnovers so far, with three and a half to go in the first. Baycott again. He's got 13 and I mean, six. We've seen North Carolina's guards find their way to the rim relatively easily against this Miami defense. Popular rejected by Nance. Ball still loose and it belongs to the heel. Again, though, this is an experienced, poised Miami team. And look at that backdoor feed, but Nance with a rejection on Beverly. Well, these are some of the last games in the career of Mike Bray here at Notre Dame. From the corner, no. Johnson couldn't get it to go from way downtown, but Nance pounds his way in the paint. And a whistle as well as he makes the shot. Points in his career, they've needed a lot more from him. Nance has been engaged, engaged, he's been aggressive, and he's had a nose for the basketball. He's been around it a lot tonight. That's a good sign. Nance for Bacon over the top and two. They'll get Davis for a foul, his third. Because that ball moves, Leshevsky was vulnerable. Cormac Ryan with a dozen. Bacon again in traffic. Yes, and a foul, too. Nance is doing a masterful job. Or not easy. Beautiful touch pass from Nance to deliver to Bacon. Good recovery by Gardner to get back out defensively to Nance. Undeterred, Nance able to score on the turnaround. Nance, stuck, puts it up, and in! What a finish to the first half for Pete Nance and the Tar Heel. It works. Right now, Pete Nance catches the basketball. Virginia blows up the DHO. It's both defenders going with Kate of Love. The well-rested Leaky Black. Sets a screen for Love. Inside Nance for the hammer. Threads the needle between two Virginia defenders and Pete Nance out here stunting like his daddy. Red transfer from Akron now has 18 points. And Nance, who's missed a couple of chippies around the basket, left no doubt on that possession. Dunn gives it back to Beekman. Nance says no way. Grabs the miss. Vanderplom, shovel pass, Dunn tries to dunk it, and again, Nance protecting that rim. Out of his team, you already mentioned losing five of their last seven. How do they respond? That was the biggest question coming into this one. Absolutely, and they responded, sharing the basketball, continuing to move it. Caleb Love gets a wide open step in three as a result of Leaky Black's offensive rebound. Houston Langford, nice speed there, and a better block there by Nance. But Nance was alert to it on the weak side, came over, and just erased it by DeMar Langford. Nance in the back down on post. That's a sweet shot. Their way into the quarterfinals here in Greensboro. Oh, big block there by Nance. He got up high. Boy, that's his second block of blocks. Basket-saving blocks in this game. Pass getting down. Another block. Yeah, another one. He has had a total. Uh, the Netherlands, number one in the world in flower exports, which would I'm sure you did not know. Well, I would bet Nance with the stuff. That also includes the badger and the wolverine, uh, the mink and the otter. I, I wouldn't have chosen weasel as yeah. a ferocious animal. She could have gone with wolverine. But with Pete Nance at the five, you know, the ball should move a little bit more. And that nicely done there. The screen in the slot, then the roll. And now watch him roll to the basket. When he took it to the opposite lane line, all of a sudden it's got to be picked up there by Ryan Dunn.